Hot Rod is red, Magnus is blue, and I'm sitting here with some toys to review. Oh my god! What was that? Wait, that's Bob. No one should be there. I, I haven't seen them. Wait, what's that? Step into the hall? What? What, what the heck is even going on here? should probably do it, but it would probably behoove of me to go prepared. Henshin! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay then, here I go. Hello, is anyone here? Continuum in the upstairs hallway. A what now? Oh. Uh, uh, never mind, it just closed. The, wait, what was that? It's put down here. That's a box. Okay, so some villainous force in the universe has clearly sent me a gift. That's. Not exactly villainous in the slightest, but soft. I shall not question this random intrusion of privacy and attempt to assassinate me, but instead open the box in the safety of my room. Wait a minute. This is just a note. Review this instead of that trash from Bandai, you mongrel? Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no to that mysterious evil force that shot me with a gun. <laughs> okay, guess you won't take no for an answer. Let's see what you're packing. The last night steel bane, huh? Wow, those are high standards for someone who's calling Bandai trash. Point is, yeah, no. Not happening. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. You got me. I think I can work with this. So, Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series Voyager Starscream is a very good toy. Now, as most Transformers fans who talk about live action films will tell you, Starscream here looks like an angry Dorito. I am not one of those people because A, I don't watch the movies, and B, I actually like the designs from the movie. Unironically. Oh boy. Look, I know it's an unpopular opinion, but at the very least, it's not Power of the Prime's Starscream. 
if you were a G1 seeker who wasn't Starscream, you weren't known for your personality. You were known for your color scheme. And to this day, Skywarp is still just a color scheme and not a personality. It's, I'm sorry, I know he's a favorite to some people, but to me, he's not really a character. He's just a color scheme, has his tack and slap onto a figure just so they can sell it again. Anyways, let's get to posability. As you can see here, Starscream, of course, has those weird chicken legs from the live action movies. They are jointed like so here at the knee. There's a thigh swivel, a toe bend that's more for the transformation, a, let's see here, a rotation at the hip, a outwards movement at the hip, um, rotation at the bicep, rotation at the shoulder, rotation at the shoulder, swivel at the bicep, elbow joint here, wrist bend up here, hand is on a ball joint, head is on a swivel here, and yeah, that's about it. So, all told, you can get him into some pretty fun poses. Draw me like one of your French seekers, Lord Megatron! Um, um, uh, I'm terribly sorry you had to see that. Now onto the figure's one and only accessory. This circular saw. What you're supposed to do is take the wrist, fold it up, then you'll see here that there's a little hole and a little tab. There's a little hole here on his hand and a little tab here on his forearm. You're gonna fold that in like so, then you can see that there are little clips here on the ends of the blade, and you're just going to want to plug that in like so. And there, you've got yourself a little bladed saw weapon. It can work on both wrists, and yeah, that's his only accessory. Also, if you want to give him a better variety of poses, there's a little plug here for a stand on his crotch. Um, that's more of a thing for jet mode. We'll get to that after the transformation. Also, while we're on the subject of weapons, he has a lot of weapon ports. He's got one on each of his forearms, right here. He's got two on each shoulder, and one on the back near his buttocks. And he's also got one in each armpit. So you can armor him up pretty good. So with all these weapon ports and a deluxe six gun, I combined them together and made a Starscream that wouldn't have died at the hands of Shia LaBeouf. Oh boy, would have loved to have seen that happen. Anyways, let's get into the transformation. First thing we're going to want to do is take the hands and basically fold them up like we were about to insert the saw blade weapon. Then, we're gonna take the toes, fold them down like this. Next, what we're gonna do, straighten out the legs like this so that they are sort of like pointed downwards like eagle talons. Then, we're gonna take this little flap on the crotch and then pull it open. We're gonna take, we're gonna pull off the um, backpack here so we'll fold that down. We're gonna untab these little flaps here on the chest. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna swing the arms up out of the way. Then we're gonna pull down the two halves here. Fold the, fold in these two flaps that form the chest. Then fold them flush to the wings. Next thing we're gonna do, pull up the cockpit and there's a little flap here we're gonna just like pull back on the screamers head here and then that will allow us to move the head into the chest or thingy then we're gonna take the um we're gonna take this little then we're gonna take this flap fold it down over the head then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arms sort of we're gonna, after we take we're gonna take the arms and you'll see these little hinges here. We're gonna fold those down. 
and fold the I mean the elbow so that they're facing towards the little pull that plugged into the chest pieces. We're gonna take the arm pieces, we're gonna fold them in like this. Then we'll do that to the other side. Then we're gonna push these in. Tab in the uh, the upper arms into a pair of slots that are right here in the in the jet mode. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold in the um, the legs of the calves right here. You'll see there's a tab on the back of this part of the leg. We're gonna take that and fold it in here. We're gonna fold the, it up here with another pair of tabs. Then we're gonna take the um, entire little back section here, and then we're going to fold it down over here. We'll press it in, and you'll hear a clicking noise confirming that you have locked these into place. Then we're gonna push down the majority of the wings onto the thing, and bam. We have a Starscream's Raptor mode. Now, in the stunt, he does have a few features. First of all, we should talk about weapon storage. Take this on, you'll notice that there's a pair of slots here, and you'll notice that there's a pair of tab here on what are the legs. And we're basically going to line those up and plug them in. Of course, it looks like he has a little chainsaw coming out of it. Or you could also maybe like pretend it's like a flame effect from the engines. Uh, another feature that we have here is nice landing gear. We're just gonna pull it out here. It's actually a nice touch. The um, heels from the robot mode are actually the landing gear. And yeah, this is actually pretty cool. So let's talk about the deco real quick before I finish up the review. Um, the Again, we have a bunch of hieroglyphs and all those markings here on the toy. We've got a nice big Decepticon symbol. And all around, it's looking pretty cool. So all in all, this figure is very good, and I'd highly recommend it to any fans of the movie Starscream design. I got mine over on Amazon Prime, and you can do the same if you want, but I don't think it's going to be cheap. Anyways, until next time, this is Firebite 27 over and out. And please, be wary of interdimensional invaders.